Good morning children. In the previous chapter, we have learned about plant life. In that, we have learned about shrubs, herbs, trees and climbers. Children, today we have to guess the topic and I am going to recite a small poem before you. First the seed, then the grain. Thank you God for the sun and rain. First the flower, then the bread. Thank you God that we are fed. Thank you God for all you care. Help us all to love and share. Yes, children, I hope you all have guessed the topic for today. Yes, exactly. Today, we are going to learn uses of plants. Children, where does Mama cooks the food? Yes, Mama cooks the food in the kitchen. We eat this food, we get energy to grow. Leftover food is stored in the refrigerator. What about plants? Do they need food? Where do they get food from? What do they do with the leftover food? Plants prepare their own food. Food is prepared in their leaves. Some of this food is used up by plants. The leftover food is stored in the different parts of the plant. Students, as we have already learned that plants store food in their stem, leaves, roots, flowers and fruits. Plants are major sources of our food. Plants give us fruits, vegetables, pulses, oil, nuts and many more things. We eat fruits of certain plants like orange, bananas, papaya, apples, mango, grapes, pineapple, etc. We eat leaves of some plants like spinach, cabbage, lettuce, fenugreek and coriander. Leafy vegetables are good for our health. We eat stems of some plant like potato, ginger and sugar cane. They grow under the ground. However, they are stems, not roots. We eat roots of some plants like sweet potato, radish, carrot, turnip, etc. We eat flowers of some plants like cauliflower and broccoli. So, plants are very useful to us. They give us food to eat, fresh air to breathe and many more things. We have learnt about how plants store their food. In the next session, we will learn more about uses of plants.